welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, so as you can see by the title today, I'm filming a how to get the splits in one week. Um, this will obviously only work properly if you do the stretches every day, follow the exact stretching routine and kind of not push yourself but push yourself a little bit because if you just stretch and you don't push into where there's a bit of pain you're not really going to benefit from that stretching. Let's get into the video. Okay, so quickly first we're going to do a little warm up. I'm going to show you the exercises, I'll put the reps on the screen below and yeah it's a really quick and easy one that you can do just to warm up your body before you stretch because you don't want to hurt yourself. So first we're going to do some star jumps. We're going to do some high knees. We're going to do some lunges. You can do walking lunges. We just come back onto the spot if you don't have enough space. And we're going to do some squats. And then we're just going to do a little jog on the spot real quick. So now we're going to get into the stretching. We're just going to start out in a straddle. Um, yours will be as wide as you can go. It might be here, it might be way back here, which I can't do, but just go to where you feel a slight stretch. You don't want it to be too easy. And also you don't want to hurt yourself if you go back further. We're just going to lean with our hands like this to the right. Hold each exercise for roughly 30 seconds. I'm just going to do it quickly because I don't want you to watch me for 30 seconds because that's just a bit boring, but yeah. 30 seconds to get a maximum stretch. So it's going to come down and go as far as you can down this way. And we're going to repeat that on the left. Stretch your hands out, reach as far as you can. Then we're going to go back to the right. You're going to tuck your right hand under onto the mat or ground. And reach just over as far as you can. You're going to come back up and do that on the left side. Tuck the left hand and reach over. You should feel the stretch down here as well as like obviously in like your split area. Then we're just going to come up and we're going to reach as far forward as we can. Try not to hunch your back when you do this. Try and keep it as straight as possible. We're just going to come up. Now we're going to spin to the side. We're going to put our legs together in a pike. We're going to reach up. Keep your feet pointed in this one and reach forward. Try again to not hunch your back like this and keep it as straight as possible. Then we're going to come up. We're going to breathe upwards. We're going to flex our feet and we're going to go down again. Then we're going to come up. Now we're going to get into the more full-on stretches and we're going to go up here, come into Kind of one leg up, one knee on the floor. We're going to make sure that we don't do this with our thing. We want to keep it at a right angle the whole time. Knee kind of over your heel and not going way over your toes. And also don't do it like this because that's like I just slip if I do that. But it's not good for you. So let's do this on the right leg first. I find a good way to get deeper into the stretch is if you tense your muscles. All of your muscles really tight, take a deep breath in and then release the muscle tension and breathe out. I found that time I got quite a bit lower. Okay, now we're just going to come down, kind of push your leg to the side and you're going to put your elbows on the ground. Then we're going to come back up, put your foot out, try to keep this at a right angle too, straight down. We're going to lean forward. Then we're going to come into a pigeon pose. And have your right leg in front of you. One and your left leg behind. You can bring this as far forward, as far in as you want. I'm just going to have mine in the middle. Hands up and then you're going to reach forward. Now, 
we're just gonna come back up to it and we're gonna slowly slide down into the splits do so slowly and again doing that muscle tension and breathing in and then releasing and breathing out will really help get deeper you want to hold this for at least 30 seconds if you can go longer do so because it'll really help um, some people might be here it's okay keep your hands on the floor try not to like have them backwards like this try and keep them flat down this way because it's safer and then just go straight down and hold you can also, if you're getting close, reach forward as it'll maximise the stretching as well. And also find, once you get really close, like if you're here, you can actually come into the middle so that your legs are still in the splits, but you're kind of rotating your body and you actually stretches really well in other areas that will help. And then just come out of it. And we're just going to finish that off with one of these stretches again, just to release any stool tension. And then you're going to repeat that all on the left side. So I'm just going to put that in a quick like time lapse video. But just basically repeat what I've done. And yeah. Just repeat that every single day for the week and it would be cool if you could take a before photo then an after photo and it will really show your progress because photos are really good like to gauge how much progress you've gone um yeah thanks for watching this video like comment subscribe um also comment down below any video ideas so I'm kind of stuck at the moment and yeah I've also got a secret project coming out soon so stay tuned for that, probably about halfway done at the moment. All my accounts will be linked down below as well. Um, once again, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video.